Vanuatu Business Resilience Council is a standing council of the Vanuatu Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Our role is to focus, at, especially in times of disasters, on communication and coordination between the private sector and the government. One of the advantages of activating the private sector is we're already situated in the communities. All of our businesses already know how to integrate with the communities and we speak the local languages and it's normal for us to be working on logistics, bringing goods into remote communities. So by activating the VBRC, we quickly recover in our communities and support one another in this activity. What we've tried to do in this program, which is why we call it Unblocked Cash, is we're kind of unblocking those barriers to delivering cash to people who need it. What we've found in building up cash transfer programs in the Pacific is although the Pacific is extremely disaster prone, the delivery of payments and the existing financial service infrastructure that allows us to give people the money that they need to purchase what they need when they need it is extremely difficult. And that infrastructure just does not reach to all of the islands in Vanuatu and across the region. We were really keen to support the Unblocked Cash program because it allows the families to make the decisions with dignity about what they require and what they need to rebuild their lives and livelihoods. With both TC Harold and COVID, we're aware that the local business community has taken a hit and cash transfer programs not only support families, but they allow money to flow back into the economy and support local businesses. So that was quite important for us. Every week, we learn some more fun to get all fenda from where all beneficiaries bring. We go shopping with them all get that. Then uh, every Sunday, we must all fenda. We must go to another one place. We got network. We buy flights. Have a car mount all balance block at that. We install a phone. Then on Monday, with the Tuesday, we will process some more payment block at that. Uh, through the help of partner partners. Our role is linked with the Sempo guys, uh, who, who bring down the information from the dashboard on a weekly basis. Uh, they provide that information to us and we translate it into uh, bank-friendly documents that go off, out, off to the five main commercial banks uh, for them to uh, initiate payment to the vendors. One of the great things about this program is that people go to their store, get their goods, hand over their card, their card gets debited, they walk away with their goods. They don't have to do anything extra to be part of this. It distributes the funds throughout the economy and uh, you know, at the end of the day, it creates work for people. We selected vendors according to the disasters on the area. In San Juan, because it was cyclone, we selected the, the address and supermarkets because people lost houses um, and the gardens were damaged. And on Tana, it was the response of the asphalt, the volcano ashes damaged most gardens, so we selected the supermarkets and the food markets. And in both villa, it's a COVID-19 and the beneficiaries were the people with special needs and most uh, are wheelchair users. So we selected vendors with easy access. When we do trainings for vendors, so we, we train them how to use the, the smartphones and how to log in to the Sembo app which we, we use on the program. And also on some areas, we train the market vendors, especially on financial literacy. This program, it's an electronic payment where money goes through the bank. So we train them how to do their savings on bank. In the Unblocked Cash program, one of the interesting things was how well businesses adapted to e-commerce. Not only were they learning to use a phone to make payments in the store, but the money was going directly to their bank accounts. Especially in our rural communities, there's no uh, FPOS terminals and using an electronic means to make payments and to receive funds is very new to them. But we found there was this great enthusiasm around banking and it really helped with the financials for the businesses. Suddenly they were better able to save money and account for their transactions, which made the business itself better able to make decisions. One of the things you learn, market vendors didn't do so well in this program because we are on our hot season there's not much fruit and veggies at the market. And we also learn people prefer using cash um, instead of cut on transport vendors. In the Sheffa program, we initiated a free shopping bus service. So this happens twice a month and the clients can hop on a bus for free and they'll be taken around town for half a day of shopping. 
by providing this special transport bus, we made sure that even people living with significant disabilities could access a variety of stores. The Sample Dashboard is a real-time monitoring tool that allows us to monitor and see how beneficiaries are using their money. That means um, what are they spending their money on and where, in which location. It is very interesting to see how people use the e check app. Most people take it for long life food and also the artway material. Early after the cyclone, you can see most people purchase sanitation products. Recently, we just collect back all the phones and there's lots of impact to it and most of them are positive feedbacks. 90% of businesses make more money compared to before.